at the stage. How are them man still hating? Me, I got bad expectations. I still got a couple bad ones waiting. I'm obligated. You ain't getting no little man shaving. I'm a brick and sweet. Oh, 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 Doing that boys, Zala here. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the wings effect. As you guys might have seen, it's a common trend right now that you guys are seeing in a lot of pro Fortnite player editing videos. Um, a lot of people are using the wings effect. And yeah, so I, I just want to show you guys how to do it today. And a lot of people have also been asking me how to do it. So yeah, here it is. So I did for a client, um, Steve-O. So make sure to check him out. I'll leave his video, like the full video for this, in the description below. So basically, um, this is how I edited it. So the first clip, as you guys can see, it's not, not really an effect there. Just it's just the start of the video. This is a bit where pretty much it basically starts editing. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to do this bit. So. Zoom in here. Okay, basically, guys, so this is the wings bit. So there we go. I'll show you guys how to do it. That's what it looks like. So basically, to start off, you guys want to do your velocity. So at the start, of your, your, you guys want to do your velocity. So what I did was put 200 at, at as soon as the um you see the shield crack on the guy. Um, That's when you want to put the velocity on. So basically, I go to the middle and I go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then... I go four to the left, and then one, two, three, four, five to the right for my velocity. So basically, the middle you want to have two hundred, and then the right you want to have fifty percent, and then the left you want to have one hundred percent. Okay, so basically, now the effect I have on this here is the color corrector. So, um. Don't worry about that color corrector. That's only if you use uh the stereo thingy. Um, but so this is what I did to make it like kind of like darker and stuff. So as you guys can see here, I have the marks like here. Um, and I have the saturation. That, you guys can copy the settings, feel free. But that's what I did basically. So yeah, feel free to copy the settings to make it go from there. But make sure you have it starting like normal and then keyframe over here so it goes like that. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go into here. So, um, basically, I have the color corrector. You can copy, feel free to copy this as well, by the way. And then copy these settings here. So then when it gets to that bit, I make it go back to the normal. These are my flicker settings. Feel free to copy them as well. So, yep. Basically like that. Wait, sorry. They're like that, sorry. They're my flicker settings, and then I keyframe it from 0 0.075 to around to zero, like that. And then my shake. Feel free to copy down my shake as well, boys. I'll show you. I'll go through it for you. Uh, yep, easy. And then I'm also going to put... Uh, yeah, basically like that. Wait, shit, not meant to do that. Oh, and then the color corrector. This is just um, uh, what's it called? The red mid tone I had. So like, yeah. So they're the effects I used for that part. Now these are the wings. So basically, what you want to do with the wings is put it so like. You, as, as you guys can see, I've like cut in here. So if you put the wings over the top for too long, like it might go out of shape, right? So I've cropped this on shape. You want to have the wings just like around, you know, the shoulders, top of the shoulders, whatever. So but before you do that, when you first put the wings in, and I'll also put the link to download the wings in the description, but for, for what you want to do to put the wings on is go press on to here and then go down to screen. Uh, on screen, then you want to go into effects. You want to um, put the color corrector and just copy these settings. So put the, the gamma to zero. And I do it the same on all of these, all right? So basically, I'll show you guys why. See this white box that comes up? 
That's why. That's why you want to put the gamma to zero because it's obviously an overlay. So then you that gets rid of that. So yeah, that's why you guys want to do that. So yeah, that's how you do the wings, boys. So if you've got any questions, make sure you uh, drop a comment below about that. Also, go to my Twitch because I will stream me editing clients' videos as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys got any questions when I'm doing that, I'm ha happy to show you guys anything on there. Um, and then this is how I did this clip, basically. All right, so as you guys can see, it's just a normal color. Normal color. And then as soon as the scope goes in, I make it so it goes darker. So I'll show you the settings I did for it. I just did black and white, 250. All right, so that it just goes dark like that. And also, this is the sound effect that I used. Feel free to copy this with if you want. Um, and then basically, from that. By the way, it's like this because I pre-rendered it or something. I don't know why it does that, but yeah. So then, basically, I have this um sound on the whole time through this. And also, wait. I also have black and white on this one, but it's 50% black and white. So it goes from 25 to 50. And I also start my velocity here. So the velocity is the exact same as what I showed you guys before, basically. So click on... No, don't click on that. So yeah, that's... And then I also put the same sound effect here. And then as soon as I get the kill, I have the sound effect off. So it makes that nice noise. And then these are the effects I had for it. So I'll show you guys what I had. So th these are my blur settings. Oh, uh, actually, I gotta go to the right one there. Yeah, so these are my blur settings, basically. Let me go shake. Then my shake settings for this. Oh, sh I'll show you guys all of them, actually. Yep. These are my brightness the settings I use for that. My flicker settings. And... Like, this is just like a preset. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, as I showed you before, that's for the thing I, yeah, it's for the thing I showed you before. I have flicker, so it goes like to that. Goes down a bit afterwards. So yeah, it basically does this effect. Gives you a nice effect, so yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do the intro. Now, a lot of people were asking me for the, um, why I like the, they're like, how to explain this their screen like the actual cinematic is like doing the same thing as the text so pretty much just um do that is so what, obviously what you would do first is the displacement map go custom oh my god again custom and then displacement map copy these settings right and then crop it out a bit just so it doesn't just a bit outside the screen okay so basically now this is what you guys want to do so see this button here See this button here, guys? I'm going to undo it and show you guys how to do it. All right. So basically, when you go to the space and map, on like your text and stuff, what you want to do is press this and this. So that, don't do it on the cinematic. Just do it on the text and that. So that means it only does it for the text, all right? So now, that's all good. Now, the text I use, boys, is Dimbo48. Um, Uh, feel free to copy my, uh, settings as well, by the way. My shadow settings. I highly recommend using shadow. Um, and then I just got, um, I didn't even add velocity because Steve, I wanted me to hurry up with the video. But normally I would add velocity. I'll do a video on velocity on your, the intros in my, uh, third part three of my editing tutorials. Um, I'm trying to move to After Effects. It's just, like, really hard to learn, as you guys can see. I've actually got to open... Yeah, I'm trying to learn how to do it. It's kind of complicated, but uh, hopefully soon enough I'll get used to it. And hopefully the content will be a lot better. All right, boys, if you guys got any questions, once again, let me know in the comments down below or in my Twitter DMs. They are open. If you guys want me to edit your video, also DM me on Twitter. I'm going to have a website very soon for um, people. So if you guys would like to purchase for me to edit your video, that'll be there for you to do. Um, it'll take one to three days for me to edit your video, so not too long. And I'll try to do a reasonable price as well. But yeah, hope you boys enjoyed. Have a good day, lads.